finding the joy in your craft is essential for not only creating at a very high level, but also maintaining your mental and physical well-being. In my early 20s, when I started to develop my love of um, thoughtful cuisine, and from that, I actually developed my love of cooking. Doing something for work can take your love out of it. Um, as soon as money gets involved, it develops a different relationship with your craft or your passion or, or your hobby. Social media creates this weird environment where you're doing things for engagement, whether that's comments, likes, follows, these external factors that really don't matter. But at the end of the day, if you're trying to make a living off your art, they do matter. And so it's this weird interaction between s sustenance and creation. When those forces and those thoughts start to pervade your mind, it takes your focus away from your craft. It brought on a lot of um, issues and as well as um, stresses that I just wasn't prepared for. In the last year and a half, from a very negative experience that I had where I, I legitimately thought I was never going to be in a kitchen again, I started to switch my perspective um, to make sure I was taking care of myself and what I needed. And the funny thing was, I thought I would do that by sacrificing my work, but it had quite the opposite effect where I found that my work became better than ever, my creativity levels became better than ever. I think we're all going through a lot of, a lot of issues where we're all hurting and we live in societies like in urban centers where there's so many people, but so many people are affected by loneliness. We're not willing to open up about our issues when everyone has very similar issues. And so now I use the platform that I've created with my brand um, as much as possible to speak to, to the issues of mental health. But also one of the things I wanted to cultivate is vulnerability and openness. And, and so being able to practice that on a stage talking to people that you haven't met before, that is uh, definitely a way to practice what you preach, right? And so now I find motivation through taking care of myself in a way where I can let my, my body and spirit create and have my mind be at peace. That's a sad bar, what y'all ride for? Why religious stay divide this people? Uh, it's no peace, just forever war. Comment to let us know what you thought about this episode. If you want to see more videos, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification icon to stay in the mix. Thanks for watching.